I wanted to make a quick video on uh, Pi Installer and how you can place a uh, get your code into an executable file that you can transfer to you know any kind of uh, Windows machine that maybe not have uh, doesn't have Python uh, installed or the packages. So what you want to do is just head over to your CMD. Uh, you want to pip install. Uh, py installer and mine's already installed so I'm not gonna need this um, so if you look up uh, py installer you can see some of the documentation and all the capabilities and so forth with it so what I want to do I want to take uh, I currently have a Python code right and it is uh, currently just on my like local machine so I couldn't transfer this if I wanted to send it somewhere if they don't have the same packages or so forth or say you wanted to run like a small program or something like that you can't really do that so I wanted to make a short video on how to uh, turn this into an executable file include this image in it and as well as um, put an icon on that executable file because I know some of the documentation online is a little confusing so I want to just head over to this directory on a CD into that directory and then I'm just going to do dir to see the make sure the all the folders files are there and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to uh, type in the commands to convert the py file to an executable so it's going to be py installer dash dash no confirm dash dash one file and this one file is going to make the executable executable file just into just one file not a multiple executable files that need to be run dash dash windowed is going to be uh, no windowed in the background like this CMD command line. Um, so then I'm going to have add data. And then to add the image, it's going to be weather.png. And I would tell you, make sure to, it's, I find it easier to use PNG files than JPEG because they, they some reason uh, they always give me problems with the JPEG. Let's just keep it at that. So I would recommend using a PNG file. And then uh, to get the icon, you're going to want to use an ICO file. And quickly, what you can do is just go over to this, drop a PNG file to it, and convert it over to an ICO. Download that, and that will give you one of them these uh, little icon files. Then you can add that on to uh, to your executable file, and then you want to type the name of the um, Python file app underscore code dot py. Okay, so yeah, pip installer no confirm one file windowed add data png space icon okay yeah you always want to look that over because there always seems to be an error and this time i have a space here so you're going to have a space between these Let's see if it runs yeah as you can see it, it it's uh, it's a very, I always find that tricky to do that. I, I, I always run into error. So I just wanted to share my insight on that right there. And then, uh, usually it takes like, depending on how big your application is, it should be like one to two minutes where it, it converts it over to a, uh, executable file. So, um, and you know, the thing about executable files are, you, you can take them and run them uh, from any pretty much Windows environment. So it doesn't, in that other Windows environment that you run it on, 
it's its own individual app package. You know, it, it doesn't need Python or the libraries involved. So you can actually just run this on uh, a different computer without um, having all the package necessary. So still building. And it looks like it's almost done. So for for my computer, it's going to show up in this. The exe file is going to show up in this uh, dist folder. And so you can actually uh, erase all these. You don't need to keep them around. I'm going to hold control. There we go. So this is why a lot of people use cloud environments, window, uh, exe files, take a little bit of time to run, even small ones, right? So, so here it is. It's just a basic like weather app and so sometimes the icon doesn't uh okay so so there's your icon okay and here's your image in the background that i pulled into it right and then here's your app like say it's going to be 81 degrees tomorrow for me 20 27 degrees celsius so it's just a temperature converter so it's just a basic like really basic program but just to show you that you can um, install images into your uh, pi install installer files which i've always had an issue with and you can also put a, a little icon following that same method so i hope this video helps if you have any questions leave me a comment below like, subscribe, I'll be coming out with more videos shortly. Thank you.